In this quick framework tutorial, we are going to be learning about events inside the framework. Well, you might be asking Nandi, what the hell is events? Well, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, it's not a feature that many people know about, and it's not really a feature that many people use in framework. And that's the whole point. That's why I'm going to be talking about it, because I think if you master this feature, you can create more advanced interactions and animations. And um, yeah, I think it will be just a very, very useful little skill or tool in your toolkit. So yeah, um, my name is Nandi, this is Frame University, and let's get started. So as you can see, I'm right inside of Framer, and I have a little button on my screen. If we go and preview this, you can see it has a little hover state, but nothing really happens when I click it. But as you can see, it says open image. So yeah, we could say that, yeah, something should happen. Maybe an image should open. So the way you can do something like this is by assigning an overlay to the button. It's really simple. You just click the element. It can be a component or just a simple, you know, frame layer. Uh, you go to the right panel and you click overlays and then you can select from relative and fixed. You can just pick one of them. Uh, I'm going to go with fixed because I want to create like a fixed overlay that takes up the full screen and it just you know, shows something. And then here I can just paste in an image and um, in theory, if I click this open image now, this will open. And that's exactly what happens and then I can click somewhere around and it will uh, it will disappear. So that's basically how you do something like this. If you're wondering what is the relative overlay uh, option, it's more like a little drop down. I mean, it use, it's used for like little drop downs. Um, as you can see, it will open below or somewhere around relative to this element. Um, and yeah, I can just paste this image in here as well. And I guess it will look interesting. <laughs> Let me just remove this color uh, yeah as you can see it will just open there and you know this is all, all good but the problem is that you know you might face this actually when you have a card and you have this open image button within the card how can you assign this overlay to this button here because now this button is within a component within this card and I cannot just go to the right panel now and click overlays fixed and just paste it in here because then what will happen is that when I click this whole card anywhere here in the card that will trigger and that's not great because I only want to trigger this overlay when I click this little open image here and I don't want to trigger it when I click to the top left corner of this whole card so this is where events can you know, help us so basically what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this overlay from the card and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside we're just gonna double click into this card and then we're gonna select the element that we want to trigger the overlay with we're gonna select the open image button and if you look on the right panel you can see we have interactions here and if you click this, we can click here to create a new event. So with this, we create a new event that we can name anything. So we can just, I don't know, um, open overlay maybe. And with this, we have created an event that triggers on click. So when this little button is clicked, the open overlay event will, will be fired basically. One little thing here, you can see that we cannot change this to other triggers, which can be really confusing. And the reason for this is because this event is actually not starting from this level, this card component level, but from one level deeper from within the button. Okay, so we have to go within the button to find the root of this event, because if we select this button and here below interactions we can see that the name of the event that starts this whole thing the root event is basically called click and this can be slightly confusing 
So maybe I can just click this and rename it to root event. And then you're going to see that actually when I go back to the card and select this little button, now you can see that the kind of like the trigger is not click, but root event. And if we really want to understand what is the root event, what is the kind of like the root trigger, we have to go within the button and then check it here. We can just check and see it's click, but we can change it to mouse center or whatever. And so, yeah, basically, basically that's, that's how you change the trigger, but we're going to have to have in you know, a click here. So click fires the root event. We connect a uh, root event to open overlay. And this open overlay event will appear one um, like layer above. So we are now on the card layer or yeah, kind of like the card layer. And then if we go back to the page level, we will be able to access that event. But where, where can we access it? Well, if we now go on the right panel and click overlays, we can select fixed. And here, now it, sh it, it will show on open overlay, which is the name of our event. So it will no longer show on click of this whole element, but you know, on open overlay, which if you remember, it starts from the button because that's where the whole event starts. So yeah, uh, we can just paste in the image. And now in theory, if we just click here, nothing will happen other than the fact that I'm like dragging this image uh, but if I click on this little button it will open up perfect and this is exactly what we wanted to do and just to recap because it might be a little bit confusing these events can be really useful when we want to make sure that we have like a component that has a bunch of elements nested within maybe like little button components or I don't know, profile image or something. And we want to trigger some sort of, I don't know, interaction or, you know, maybe an overlay with that specific element, let's say this button. And that's where we can create kind of like a chain of events where we start an event from this button. We just add an event to it here on the right panel, which might be called a root event which triggers on click. And then on the card level, we have access to this. And then we can connect anything to that. And we have you know, two options. We either add a transition to this on this card level, because we might have another variant here that we want to transition to. So I don't know, let's just drop the opacity. And let's say when I click this button, I want to go to the variant two. Okay, so now only when I click this button, I will transition to variant two. As you can see, I'm clicking here, nothing happens. But if I click here, I transition and it gets a lower opacity. So I can either do this, you know, connect the interaction. Or if I want to bring this even, even further out, maybe this component has multiple nestings, not just one level of nesting. Uh, you know, in that case, I also have to bring it out with a new event. And yeah, in this case, that's exactly what we do. We create another event, we connect it to this root event, which will be called open overlay. And this open overlay event will be accessed on the home level, on the page level here. Uh, and this is where we can connect our little overlay to it. So yeah, um, that's basically it. Uh, that's it for events, a little crash course. If uh, something is too confusing or you don't really get something, make sure to drop a comment because maybe in a future tutorial, I can be a little bit clearer on those specific points. Uh, but yeah, I really do hope that this was helpful. Um, and yeah, also check out framer.university. I have a bunch of other tutorials just like this and free resources that you can just remix and components that you can just put in your famous sites for completely free. Uh, you can use them on personal projects, commercial projects. So I think they're just a great way to take your sites to the next level. So yeah, uh, make sure to like this video, subscribe for more, and I'm going to see you 
in the next one.